Hey, Charlotte, congratulations. I'm so proud for you. New adventure, and you're gonna love it, I can tell you. Um, we started together a long time ago uh, at Peak, teaching together, and then you taught Clayton and didn't retire then, so thank you. And then I had your kids out at the high school, and then we came back full circle uh, on faculty together at Central. And I just want to say you were such a supporter for me, and we just, we became good friends through all that, and I value that so much, our friendship. You're an adventurer. I want to continue going on those adventures with you uh, wherever you go. And um, I just want to say, you know, I, I know people look at the things that um, you are and do, like just being kind and good and and serving others but i just want to tell you you instilled that with hundreds and hundreds of kids and i know that your hope and prayer is that they will take that to their homes and their communities and that um that legacy that you've left with them just pays forward you know and it's never been about you it was always about those kids and what meant um most for them what they needed and you gave it to them and i am so thankful that um they had you in their lives and that you touched so so many kids Greetings from Clarksville. I just have a few things to share with you about Rosa DeMine, as I would say Rosa from Goza. We have had and still have wonderful band programs, athletic programs in our fair city of Arkadelphia. But what many people don't know is that Rosa DeMine worked with seventh grade science students after school so that these students could participate in these programs during the school day. She's awesome. Arkadelphia Public Schools, and especially Goza, the best school in the universe, will miss Rosa. Congratulations, Rosa. Enjoy your retirement. Love you. Just a few things about my wonderful coworker, Miss Marvetta. For one thing, she's marvelous. She always goes above and beyond. She also received an honorary counseling degree. She's very thoughtful. She enjoys Badger athletics. She is a terrific baker. She takes on many tasks and she always makes sure students and staff have everything that they need. And I guess because her granddaughter Kinsley is so adorable, We'll let her leave us to get all the cuddles in all day. Hey Paula, it's Donnie, your favorite former principal. 
Now, don't tell Miss Thomas and Miss Snowden that I said that, but I really just wanted to pop in today and give you a great big congratulations from our entire family. It has been wonderful to work with you and to see you serve the students and families of the Arkadelphia School District for so many years. Really excited about your next step and what you're going to do, and I'm sure you're going to be selling something great, so sign me up. I wish that I could be there in person to celebrate with you today and maybe sit in the back and cut up with BC, but a quick video we'll have to do. So excited for you, so happy for you. I love you and wish you the best in everything that you do. Talk soon. Bye, Paula. I wanted to take a minute and, and talk about Martin and Uber, who I count as a friend and also uh, a very important part of my professional life in the 24 years I've been here at Arkadelphia. Um, and I believe he preceded me in, in employment here. And so um, I got to know him when I was still a very young teacher. And he's always been uh, the janitor that took care of the classrooms that I was in. Um, and as many of you know, I did engineering for many years and we really managed to make a huge mess in that room most days. And he was always very easy to work with, always very professional. Um, he was also a, a person who had high standards, helped me keep that room clean and safe for the kids. Um, <clears throat> we talked a lot uh, in the early hours of the day because I would come through on the way to my school bus and he'd already be in the building working and so we would pass the time at that point and kind of think about things. He's a high quality human being and, and uh, I have every bit of respect for him um, and the work that he's done in this district. We have been blessed to have him here um, for the kids and, and for the faculty and, and I miss him. I've missed him this last year and not having him in my day. Um, I also really appreciate Frida, his wife, and I would say many of the same things about her uh, that I do about him. And so, again, Martin, uh, I hope that you enjoy your retirement, uh, and I have enjoyed knowing you, and I hope I run into you at Walmart. Well, Velvet, I can't believe we're at a place where you're going to be retiring. Um, you've worked for the district for 18 years, uh, and you've been with me for 15. Um, I thank you for everything that you have done for me, uh, personally and professionally. It's been a joy to work with you, and I wish you much luck into the future. I'm not sure everyone realizes how much you, you take on. Uh, she is the district travel agent as far as planning pre-D, and she hasn't lost anyone yet. Got us all back home safely. Uh, coordinate the, the school vehicle, uh, and recently took over federal programs uh, management. So again, she took that all in with grace, and we appreciate everything you've done, and wish that you have a very happy retirement, that it's everything you wish for and more.
Happy Sunday. I hope everyone's having a great day. I went to church this morning and my pastor, Daryl Bridges, preached about a godly woman. All I could think about was Lisa Ray. Let me share you a couple of things about Lisa. Number one, Lisa is the face of Goza. She is that face everyone sees when they walk in the office. It may be an angry parent, but she makes such a nice impression that those people leave happy. Thank you, Lisa, for that. The second thing, I would say Miss Lisa could be called Miss Fix-It. She can fix coffee. She can fix braces. She can fix tennis shoes. She can fix backpacks. She can even fix the copy machine after I would get in there and jam it many times. A lot of people didn't know this about Lisa, but after school, she could even fix hair. Miss Lisa, you are greatly appreciated, and I wish you the happiest of all retirement. Goza loves you, and so do I. Hey, Dadger fans. When I began my career as Goza Middle School principal, I was always impressed with this sharp, beautiful teacher. It was a SPED teacher that worked at Central. Her name was Edda Robinson. After a couple of years, Edda decided to go to the house. She was done. However, she really wasn't done because later I was given an opportunity to bring Edda on the Goza team. Edda's classroom was located behind the stage. Previous teachers that were in this classroom didn't like the location. Not Edda. She loved everything about Goza Middle School. I loved her being a team member at Goza. Happy retirement, Edda. Love you.